And the first one is a bit of a um, different take on roots, but you understand uh, when you hear, hear it. It's um, inspired by a different poem I wrote called Aquaba, where I took out the sentence, Aquaba to the memories that will go back to sleep. This one is called Pages. Pick a page, open it wide as you lay in your bed, ready to say goodbye to the day. Pick a page and let it tell a story from not so far away. Pick a page, reminisce on the past as you study for the future and learn lessons for the next day. Pick a page as you slowly dawn away to the next stage of memory lane. Pick a page. I should quickly say a father to that face, but this time in a good way. Pick a page. This time it won't feel like eternity. It won't be all you see. Pick a page and see that there is still more to come. More pages to read, more stories to tell. And we, when you've read them all, know there is still more to write. So pick a page out of your own book and let life tell the story about how you made it true. So as you lay in your bed, ready to say goodbye to the day, pick a page and open it wide. But this time, in a good way. That was the first one. I hope you can see it because my internet is acting up right about now. We can't hear you, but it's breaking up now and then, but so, so okay. far it's good, so. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to the second one. The second one is called Black Eden. Hair like a dancer nice for boas. Her tears like the rivers. One crying for the past and one for the future. The other for the future and when they meet they cry ocean tears for the present the hills are her curves created by the oppressors on one side and her babies on the other whom she tries to uplift at all times her gold her silver ripped from her body but never taken away her beauty she was our black eden but when the snake came was control wanting more than we already know, taking from our own land forbidden fruits. Corrupting her and our seeds sent out to protect the secrets of the land just to be found by those favored enough and who look with love to the beauty of her soul. She was a Genesis. And when God saw her, he crowned her with the crown of his love and the ring of his covenant, hoovering over the waters to encounter each and every rim and center. He went up to embrace the becoming of his creation and said, this is very good. Now we crown you with love, with the love of our thorns appreciating you until we had had enough and we had had enough but when you die perhaps we might know your worth unlike him you will not resurrect so i crown you now in the beauty that you came enjoying the fruits that you gave mama africa the beauty in you are the praise Be ye honored and highly favored. Yamin Shaw. That was my second piece. Thank you. 